All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. Today we're going to be walking through adding a non-inventory product that we buy. Okay, this comes from Section 1, Lesson 7 of our Basic Level Certification course. There's a link right there if you want to find out more about it. If you would like free access to tons more exercises, hands-on practice in QuickBooks Online, you can join our free Facebook group. The link is right there for you as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So this exercise starts in the sample company. Uh, if I go back to here I am in the sample company. If you don't know how to access the sample company, you don't know how to act, get a free account for a QuickBooks Online accountant account, there's a link below that has information about all of that. So here I am in my sample company. Let's read our scenario. Craig uses fertilizer in his business, but he does not resell it to customers. Add it to his products and services list so he can keep track of how much he purchases. Okay, so non difference between a non-inventory product and a, an inventory product is that a non-inventory product, you don't keep up track of how much you have on hand, but you still want to keep track of how much you buy. Okay. So uh, in step one, we're going to, from the left navigation bar, select sales and collect, uh, click products and services. Okay, so we're going to uh, go to sales and then select products and services. Step three, in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click the green new button, not the arrow next to it. So here we go. And then step three, we're going to select non-inventory. Okay. Step four, we're going to complete the product service form as follows. We're going to give it the name of fertilizer and we're going to uncheck I sell this product or service to my customer. So Craig uses this for his jobs, but he doesn't sell it. Okay. So let's go back here. We're going to give it the name of fertilizer. fertilizer okay and then right here as soon as I check this I'm not selling this so I'm gonna uncheck it and and QuickBooks Online automatically knows if I'm not selling it then I must be buying it okay so here's purchasing I purchased this product service from a vendor okay so that's what this note is right here for the purchasing information we're gonna say fertilizer that's the description. And I could change this on my sales form so I could be more descriptive. For example, I could say, you know, a, a cubic foot bag, maybe something like that, the size of it, something like that in the description. I can always change that. Um, and then for the expense account, we're going to call it job materials. Okay, so right here you notice that QuickBooks Online automatically selected a, uh, an account from the chart of accounts um, and they're saying it's going to be purchases, but we actually want to track this specifically as job materials. So I'm going to type in just job materials right there, okay? And then step five. We're just going to click save and close. Okay, so save and close. And now I have this in my products and services list. And here it is right here, fertilizer. All right, that's it for this lesson. Next up, we're going to be switching gears and talking about customer types.